what's going on born for sports on this saturday morning nba all-star break knicks all-star break i want to talk about the knicks you know i think us as nick fans got to be pretty pretty pleased with what we've seen it's been about what we thought this season was going to be you know um you know some ups and downs you know they've been hovering around the 500 two three games over that type of thing most of the first half of the season been some good movements good good games some bad losses the only there's some things that we need to clean up i mean we got to be a better team at home you know the losses in madison square garden there's no excuse for that they got to be better at home rj barrett has got to get more consistent i'm as i'm as a good as an rj barrett guy as there is out here you know but he's got to be better you know, he's got to be better. He's in a slump right now. I'm still a believer that he's he's a good piece for this team and he will have a big second half. It's been his track record. He's always been a slow start, which has been an issue for him. But I think, you know, he can get better and be, be a factor in the second half. Julius Randle. It's been two years ago, Julius Randle, when they got to the playoffs. So shout out to him. You know, a lot of us was not happy with him <laughs> to say the least after what he, he did last season with challenging the fans and having kind of a mediocre year but the addition of Jalen Brunson has really helped him get back to form that he was two years ago you know that was a good move by Leon Rose to get Jalen Brunson which I'm going to get to in a moment but Julius Randle who's an all-star this year he's looking he's looking like he's back so that's a good news so far for the first half now, the real MVP is Jalen Brunson. It's, it's not even close. Should be an all-star. I don't know what the hell the NBA was doing with that. You know, I, I understand fan voting can go either way. It's a popularity contest. But the fact that they did not make him an all-star as a reserve is a joke. Okay? It's a joke. It almost feels anti nicks but whatever. Everyone knows this man is an all-star. He should be there. And listen, I wasn't... I wasn't thrilled with the contract we gave him in the offseason because I thought, you know, getting Luka Doncic was the one that really was the gold guy of the team and it was a risk to, to pay him that kind of money. But so far, he's been he's been one of the best best point guards in the NBA. It's not even close. And <laughs> making me eat my words, that's for sure. And I'm happy about it. You know, don't get me wrong. I was happy about it. I, I wanted him and Donovan Mitchell I felt like the Knicks would only be good if we got Donovan, Donovan Mitchell to play with him. But right now, Jalen Brunson is the guy right now, man. He's had a great first half, you know, and he should be an all-star. It's a joke he's not. It really is. But you listen, the Knicks have an opportunity now with the Nets' demise, <laughs> with the Nets' demise and, and, and breaking up that, that team, that they have a chance now to move up in the standings in this, in this Eastern Conference. Right now, they're tied for the sixth seed. You know, and it's all about matchups, man. Just like with the New York Giants when they made the playoffs, it was all about matchups. Us Giant fans, we wanted Minnesota. We didn't want San Fran in that first round. I think it's a similar situation here with the Knicks. You stay in that six and that five spot, and we got a shot in the first round to win a playoff series. The way the team is constructed, Josh Hart has been a big addition at the trade deadlines. He's brought something, so doing those dirt, the dirty work, so. If we could stay in that three that three six matchup or that four five matchup, we got a shot that we could at least actually be competitive and have a chance to win that series. I'm not afraid of Philly. I'm not. You know, we match up actually pretty good with them. You know, Mitch Robinson is going to be the key to that series if we play Philly first round, because Embiid's a low. But I'm not afraid of Philly. Cleveland. I think. I think we don't match up as well with Cleveland as we do Philly, but we will have a chance to win that series. And, you know, not looking not looking forward to seeing Donovan Mitchell kill us, but <laughs> it is what it is. I'll take my chance with those two series. So let's see what we do. Let's see in the second half. We need the Knicks to go out, come out strong, win some games, and we'll see. You know, six over 500. Let's go Knicks.